Hey guys, I'm Tony from Tony Teaches Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to enable GZIP compression on your Nginx server. The first thing I'm going to do is prove to you that GZIP compression is not enabled, so there's two ways we can do that. The first is with PageSpeed Insights, so uh, the website of concern is tonytravels.com. It's my travel blog, which I'm this close to making live and accessible to the public. Uh, we have a pretty decent score of 92 right off the bat, but there will be a couple things wrong with it, one of them being enabled text compression, which we can save up to 1.35 seconds if we do enable that, and that's what we're trying to do today. So basically what it is, is taking your text-based files like HTML, CSS, JavaScript on your server, compressing them before they're sent to the client, and then when the client gets them, it decompresses it, so that way you're sending minimal amount of data across the network and therefore speeding up the time that it takes your pages to load. So um, when we fix it, this will go away. The other way to prove that it's not enabled, and this is, this is kind of redundant, but I just want you guys to be aware that this is an option. So go to your website, go to View Developer, Developer Tools in Google Chrome, and make sure you're clicked on the Network tab here and hit the Refresh button. And you'll see all your resources being downloaded. Uh, let's just pick one of them, like this JavaScript file for jQuery. And over here in the response header, you'll see no reference of gzip whatsoever. When we do enable gzip, you'll see, um, I forget what it's called, maybe like content encoding, the uh, value of gzip. So let's go ahead and enable it. I want you guys to open up a terminal window and SSH into your server. So for me, it's going to be SSH root at tonytravels.com. And I am using Volter Web Hosting, which is really cool. This is the dashboard for it. It has all your information, your credentials, so I can just copy the root password for SSH. Um, it's very cheap too. If you're interested in hosting with Volter, I think there's a promotion going on where you can get like $100 or some amount of money for free just to test it out. So if you're interested in that, uh, check out a couple of my videos up here, which I'll link. Anyway, I'll paste in that root password. And then, yep, we're logged into our web server. So go to the etc nginx directory. And again, depending on what web host you're using, you, your stuff might be in a different location. But for me, it's in etc nginx. And then the configuration file is going to be called nginx.conf. So search here for any reference to gzip. For me, it's just this common line of code. Uh, we're going to get rid of that in place. In its place, we're going to put uh, the, where is that? So here it is, these other lines of code. So these other lines of code are essentially just enabling gzip. And like I said earlier, enabling it for specific types of files, including the plain text file, CSS, JavaScript, etc., etc. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and save that file. And for good measure, let's restart our web server with systemctl restart nginx. Okay, so real easy, right off the bat, let's go up to our website again, tonytravels.com, hit refresh, and uh, Let's see, yeah, the cache, we disable the cache, so these should all be freshly fetched from the server. Let's click on jQuery again, and yeah, there we go. We have content encoding as gzip. That was not there before, so this is looking good. This is promising. Let's run the page speed insights again. So click on analyze, and when this is done, fingers crossed, Hopefully, um, we'll get rid of that item that said enable text compression. So we got a better score, which is cool. That's huge. Uh, we still see enable text compression for jQuery, which is, I'm pretty sure what we were looking at, the 1.12.4. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure why that's the case, because we're clearly sending it over gzip, as with all of these other files we're sending over gzip. So I'm going to just say that this is a false positive uh, because we did see the page speed score shoot up significantly and we are seeing this this exact file, the uh, jQuery 1.12.14 or 4, yeah, this is being served as GZIP. So 
Let's go with a false positive on that one. I think you guys get the idea of what we're doing here, enabling gzip compression on Nginx, how it can help your website uh, serve content much faster. So thank you guys for watching. If you got any value out of this video, definitely consider giving it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.